Welcome to Vlogmas day 12. Today we have another declutter. We are going to be going through all of my face powders as well as setting sprays. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. It really helps me out when you guys like the video, so if you could leave a like and comment down below, I would really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys have been following along with the series, you know that I've been the most cutthroat about this declutter series than I have any other declutter series, and it feels really really good we have been on a roll of decluttering over half of my collection up until this point so hopefully we can continue on with the successful declutters i have this entire drawer full of powders and then i actually have the drawer above it which has oh boy this has more powders in it this has all of my Jaclyn cosmetics powders as well as like you know, there's loose and pressed in here, so there is a lot to go through today. So I think what we're going to do is start with this drawer here, and then um, we will move on from there. We're also doing setting sprays, which I'm going to kind of go, oh no. Somehow, oops, somehow everything, ow, <laughs> somehow everything is okay. I don't know how that powder survived that fall, but... I also have a setting spray drawer here that we're going to be going through as well. All right, so the way I've been doing this is I go through initially, declutter and keep certain products. Then I go through my keep pile a second time and kind of weed out any additional products that I feel like I should declutter. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a few products that I absolutely love. These are must-haves, they are not going anywhere. The first one is the Hard Candy chilling wonder powder this is incredible i am over halfway done with this powder i am obsessed with it this is like my favorite powder at the moment i got it at walmart and i cannot recommend this enough it's amazing so i am definitely going to be keeping that one i've also been using this sephora powder a lot and this is in my everyday makeup drawer along with the hard candy one actually and this one is a pressed powder I would compare this to like an hourglass powder. It's like a baked product. It's the Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder is what it's called. This is the shade 15 Nude. I'm going to keep that one and then I actually have another shade as well. This is in the shade... 25 beige. I'm actually also going to be keeping this one. Next we have the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Powder. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder. I love this stuff so much. I have the scented one. It smells like cupcakes or vanilla. I don't know. It's just so delicious. This one is definitely a keep for me. Now I have quite a few Laura Mercier setting powders. Like it's quite overwhelming. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of them just so we can kind of see everything everything that we've got going on so we have a lot <laughs> way more than i thought i did of laura mercier setting powders as you can see we're gonna get to those in a second um i did want to show you guys i have the anastasia beverly hills setting powder in vanilla this is just way too big like is this even used have i nope this is literally sealed so i'm gonna declutter this <laughs> Starting off, this is our first product that we're decluttering. It's just way too big. It takes up way too much space. I couldn't tell you if it's good or not, but it just it needs to go. And then I am going to keep my Chanel powder. This is the, oh boy, what is this called? Natural Finish Loose Powder. I have this in the shade 20. I will be keeping this. I honestly forgot that I had that. So starting off for Laura Mercier, I have this under eye brightening powder. This is the secret brightening powder for under eyes. I feel like most of the time I'm just going to use the powder that I'm using on my face on my under eyes. I don't need a separate under eye setting powder. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. It's a really great product. I have it in the shade 1, but I just don't need it. I have a few of these ones, which are the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher. So this one is in the shade Cosmic Rose, and as you can see, this is definitely a bit deep for my skin tone. It is still sealed, so we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful on a deeper skin tone. Um, I could probably even use it as a blush, but we're not going to be doing that because... 
then I'm just gonna try to start justifying keeping everything. I also have this one, which is Honey Star. This is another gorgeous color. This is like a really pretty gold one. Again, this is the uh, Light Catcher Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So again, we will be decluttering this one. I have this one, which is called Celestial Light. This one I'm tempted to keep and I actually have this one opened. I have used this one. It is so pretty. I think I'm gonna put that in the keep pile for now, but again, we will revisit all the ones that I'm deciding to keep again at the end. Then we have this one, which is a pressed powder. This is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade two. This again kind of reminds me of a like an hourglass powder or like the sephora powder you can see they have similar like finishes oh you cannot see they have similar finishes to them so i think i'll just keep the sephora ones and i will pass this one along i have this one here which is the translucent loose setting powder glow so now I don't know if I should keep this one or the Celestial Light one, so I'm just gonna put both of them in the key pile. I'll look them up, see if they're both still available, swatch them side by side and kinda go from there. I believe both of these are the regular Translucent Loose Setting Powder along with this one. So I have just like an open one of these. This used to be my holy grail. I've noticed that it definitely does leave a bit of a white cast on my skin if I go in with too much. So I have the original one. This one, again, is also the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It just has like special, it just has special packaging and it's so pretty. This one is still brand new though. So I'm definitely gonna pass this one along because I don't need all three of these. And then we have this one, which is like a jumbo version of the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I kind of wanna keep this one and then declutter my regular one. So I think I'm gonna declutter this one and keep this one. I have this Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have this in the shade two. I am going to keep that one. I have a few powders here from Physicians Formula. So we have the Butter Buddies Mattifying Powder. We have the Butter Buddies illuminating powder and then i have the butter buddies banana powder and i am actually going to declutter all three of these because i have a banana powder it's an ofra one i forgot to pull that over here but i'm going to keep that one and then i am going to declutter these three again i have other pressed powders that i'm going to use over these so um I'm sure these are fantastic powders. I just don't need them. They are so freaking cute though, and I wanna keep them because of the packaging, but I'm trying my best not to do that, so we're gonna say goodbye. I have this powder, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm actually going to put this in my empties because it's basically empty. This is like covered with hard pan, and I used up the rest of it, so I'm gonna declutter this one, and we'll call it done because that's really, it, it really is done. I have my powder. This is called The Powder from La Mer. This is way too expensive to declutter, so that one we are going to keep and use up every single drop of it. I have a few more pressed powders. So I have this one from NARS. This is the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Powder. I actually don't love this, so... I'm gonna declutter that. I also have the Primed and Portless Pore Blurring and Mattifying Face Powder. Um, I actually haven't tried this, and I really want to. It's called the Primed and Poreless, so I'm wondering, do you put this on before, like as primer? like before liquid foundation. I'll have to look into that, but that sounds really interesting if that's how you use it. I will be keeping my Hourglass Powder. This is the Lighting Infinity Powder, and this is just like an all over finishing powder. It is absolutely beautiful, and again, I will be keeping that. And then I have two powder foundations. I have L'Oreal and CoverGirl. I actually haven't used either of these, but I really don't use powder foundation um i want i kind of want to try one um i used to use powder foundation every single day i used to use the clinique double what was that called i don't know i, I used to say it all the time i don't remember what it was called it was like 
it was a Clinique powder foundation. Um, this one was like viral on TikTok, and I'm kind of tempted to try this one. And this one looks really pretty too. <laughs> I definitely don't need both. I'll declutter the CoverGirl one, and then I'll keep the L'Oreal one just to try. I have this ColourPop No Filter Loose Setting Powder. I am gonna keep this one. I feel like I don't have a good enough like opinion of it. I don't recall my thoughts on that one. I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. This one, I think I'll put in the keep pile for now, but I can potentially see myself going back on that one. I have this Morphe powder. This is still brand new. This is the Bake and Set Powder in Translucent. I kind of, I think I might keep this one over. Oh, no, I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the keep pile for now. Like I said, we're definitely gonna go back and revisit those because I'm keeping too many right now. Um, I have this Peach Perfect Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. It's literally almost gone, but uh, this is so old, it just it needs to go. I have this powder here from Hourglass. This is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, the one size powder I think I can get rid of. I recall really liking this, but I just don't need to keep every single powder. So, so I think this one I am okay to declutter. I have this Lancome powder. I am going to keep this one. Too Faced Born This Way. Um, I have that one. I have Huda Beauty. This one I used to absolutely love. This is in the shade Pound Cake. I actually used one up completely, and then this is a second one. So I think I'll keep this and try to use it again. I can't tell you the last time I used it, so we'll keep that one for now. And then I have these Fenty ones, which I really want to keep, but I also have some Jaclyn Cosmetics ones, so let me move all of these down and then we'll go from there. All right, so we have Jaclyn Cosmetics now. Um, right away, I can declutter this brightening lilac one. This is actually an extra one, so we'll go ahead and pass that one along. I'm going to keep the translucent powder. This is the translucent setting powder. It's I feel like probably, um, I don't know, it reminds me of the Too Faced one that I kept, but I haven't even used the Too Faced one, so I can't say if it's similar or not, but it's like a translucent pressed powder. So again, um, the Physician's Formula ones that I decluttered, I feel like could be potential dupes to this. I don't know for sure, but it definitely reminds me of the same type of product. All right, so it's been a little while, but I'm back to finish off this drawer. The first powder that I have here is the Too Faced Born This Way. I am going to keep this one for now that's gonna go into our revisit pile I have the two Fenty I definitely want to keep one of the Fenty um, I have the lavender Fenty but then I also have the lavender Jaclyn cosmetics or bright lilac Jaclyn cosmetics so I think I'll keep the lavender Jack and Cosmetics, and I will declutter the lavender Fenty one. And then I will keep the Fenty powder in the shade Butter. Now, for the rest of these, um, these are all like supposed to be brightening powders. I'm gonna lay them all out so that the color is facing up. Right away, these two are the Jaclyn X Robin ones, so I'll come back to those. Um, there are five shades of the brightening powder. We have Brightening Lilac, Brightening Light Banana, Brightening Pink, Brightening Apricot, and Brightening Banana. So I think what I'll do is keep the ones that are going to work best for my skin tone. So I'll keep Brightening Pink, Brightening Light Banana, and Brightening Lilac. Brightening Apricot definitely looks to be too deep for me. Oh, 100%. So this one I will declutter. And then Brightening Banana. This is one that I feel like could potentially work for me, but I'll just keep brightening light banana instead, so I will declutter that one as well. That's a big deal for me because I used to want to keep one of every single shade of Jaclyn Cosmetics so that I could do reviews, swatch them, and just show you guys the entire collections, but realistically, I am not going to use the products, and I know someone else could, so that's why I'm decluttering them. Now, as for these, I have Sheer Fair and Sheer Light. 
I know that sheer fair can work for me, but let me look at sheer light. I think I'm gonna set both of these in the keep pile until I swatch them. And then I have the, sorry if you hear Poncho like playing with his toy. <laughs> then I have the face palettes. So I have this one. Do these have actual names? I guess I'll just open them and show you guys what they look like on the inside. Here are all four of them. This one right here is definitely too dark for me. Same with this one here. So I'll declutter both of those and then I think I'll keep the two lighter ones Now I'm gonna put all of the ones that I said I was gonna keep back in this drawer and we'll see what it's looking like So here's everything that I said I was going to keep I'm gonna go back through these and pull out ones that I know for sure that I want to keep Absolute must-haves and then I will try to declutter a few more. I think I will declutter the elf halo glow powder I just don't think that I need it even though it's a really nice powder so I swatched these two. I have the Translucently Setting Powder Glow and then the Celestial Light, um, Light Catcher one. I think I'll keep the Translucently Setting Powder Glow because it's a little bit less glowy. I feel like the top one looks a little bit more like a highlighter. So I'll just keep the regular translucently setting powder in glow. So this is what my powder drawer is looking like currently. Again, there's kind of a lot left in here. I am keeping 27 powders. I believe I'm decluttering 22 or 23. I'll show you guys those in a second. But um, I got them all to fit in one drawer, which is fantastic. Nothing is past here like I can reach everything without having to like pull stuff out to get to it nothing is hidden so I'm really happy with how this is looking I think I still have too many powders also I decided to keep the regular Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder instead of the really big limited edition packaging one even though I want to keep this so bad because it's so cute I just don't it takes up too much space and I have a lot of powder already so I'm gonna pass that one along and this is what we're left with let me show you guys the powders that I'm decluttering so here's everything that I'm decluttering so far again we have two four six eight ten eleven twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 powders that I'm getting rid of. So I'm happy with this. Again, now let's go ahead and move on to setting spray. All right, so I'm sitting down in a chair for this one because this drawer is a little bit lower and it's hard for me to like lean over. Um, so again, we have setting sprays. So this drawer is pretty full as is. Hey, Poncho, your nails are click clacking everywhere. You want everybody to know that you're here, huh? Oh yeah, now you're nudging the camera. Oh, hi bud. Pancho says hello everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna do the same thing here where I'm gonna pull out a few that I know for sure that I'm keeping. So right away we have the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is currently in my everyday makeup drawer. I am loving that one. And then I also have the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. Unfortunately, Lila B is going out of business so this will not be available anymore but this is currently in my everyday makeup drawer and as you can see I'm almost done with this so I am going to keep that and use it up but essentially that one will be gone very very soon. I have this one from Ofra. This is the makeup fixer. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. I love it so much. I would highly recommend it. It's fantastic. The Pixie Milky Mist, the hydrating milky mist is another amazing one. This is technically like a skincare product but I love using it as setting spray. I think it works fantastic. I have two pretty fresh setting sprays. This one is definitely on the older side. So I'm going to declutter this one and then I'm going to keep the oops fresh new one that they sent over. The Jaclyn Cosmetics is another must have for me. I love this one. This is the all set setting spray. I am obsessed with this one. The Bear With Me from NYX. This one is incredible. Definitely got to keep that one. I feel like I can declutter the Pop Beauty Makeup Magnet Mist. This is one that I have used before and it's really nice. I really like it, but 
this one's brand new so I can pass it along to someone else and I just have a lot going on here so this one I will pass along. Patrick Ta, this is the, what is this called? Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. I am going to keep that one. I have this one from Hard Candy. This is the long wear setting spray. They actually recently sent me this in PR. I had previously purchased this and I really like this. I think it's fantastic but again it's still brand new and I just recently got this so I feel like I can pass this along to somebody else. I can already tell you that it's a great setting spray, very affordable. So if you are looking for a new drugstore one, I would recommend this one. This one from ColourPop is also amazing, the Fresh AF Mist. I have already gone through a few of these, like smaller ones. I'm definitely going to keep that one. I have quite a few e.l.f. setting sprays, so let's look at those. We have the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist, the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist, the Game Up Setting Mist, and the Glow Dewy Mist. I definitely don't need all of these, so I think I will declutter the Stay All Day Blue Light one. I ugh, I want to keep it, but I just know that I don't need it. Um, the Dewy Coconut one I'm going to keep. The Glow Dewy Mist I also want to keep. This is like super glowy. And then I recently picked up the Game Up one, which I love because I love video games, so I'm going to keep that one as well. These Too Faced sprays are so old. Like, they're so old. I think I was in denial over how old they were, but <laughs> they're like years and years old. So I have the Peach uh, Hangover, and then I also have the original. I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these because they are super old. I love both of them. This is an amazing setting spray. I would definitely consider like repurchasing it in the future, but... I just don't need them <laughs> and they're old. I have quite a few Morphe setting sprays. Um, I have this holiday one, which is, this is basically empty. I'm just gonna put this in my empties. So we're gonna declutter that one because uh, like I said, it's practically empty and it's super old. Um, oh, I actually don't have as many as I thought. I have the regular continuous setting mist that I'm gonna keep. I also have the Sour Patch Kids one. So I'll keep both of those. And then we have the Luminous Setting Spray, also from Morphe, which I will keep. By the way, you guys can use code PAGE for 10% off of Morphe products. Next, we have this Huda Beauty one, which is super old, and I don't even think the nozzle like, sprays right anymore, so this one I'm going to declutter. I have MAC Fix Plus, which I'm going to keep. I also love this one, the Dewey set from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I'm going to keep that one. I have two of these Catrice ones, so we have the Prime and Fine Long Lasting, and then we have the Ultra Last Squared. Um, I guess I don't need both of these, so I guess I'll keep the uh, Prime and Fine one. I don't remember which one's newer, but I'll just keep that one and then I will pass this one along. I'm feeling pretty good about the rest of these. I think I'm going to go ahead and just say that I'm going to keep them. We have R.E.M. Beauty, Benefit, Milani, Urban Decay, Yutan, X Jamie Genevieve, and then Milk. So I'm going to put everything in here that I said I was going to keep, and then we will do our whole revisit situation. So I actually think I am fairly satisfied with how the collection is looking. So, um... First up, obviously we have our powder drawer. I think that this looks great. And again, I will continue to pare this down through my working my way through my entire makeup collection series over on Instagram and TikTok. Occasionally I'll bring that over to YouTube as well if that's something that you're interested in. And then we have the primer drawer, which I moved everything up a drawer because we had like an extra one, an empty one. So this is what my setting spray drawer is looking like now. I think I got rid of like 10. But keep in mind that I did just do a setting spray declutter not too long ago, maybe like a month and a half ago, and I got rid of like half of my setting sprays. If not, like, I don't know, I'll link it down below if you're interested in checking that out. I got rid of a ton, so this is what I'm left with, and um, a few of these are like close to being gone, so they'll kind of cycle out of my collection very soon. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much if you guys give my videos a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you like my videos. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And we have a lot more makeup collection to go through and declutter. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in Vlogmas Day what's next, day 12 or 11, or 13 I mean. Today is the 12th, so I'll see you tomorrow in Vlogmas day 13.